what's up Cal gang? All right, so we got this statics problem here. So we're trying to find the location x bar, y bar of the centroid of this beam. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it's not a beam, it's the area, whatever the shape is. Uh, so it's a little off, uh, I drew it a little weird, but it's okay, because um, let's get started. So it's a 3D shape, but it doesn't matter that it's 3D, because however far it goes in the z direction, it doesn't really matter. So I drew it flat here, and let's go ahead and get started. So uh, what are we looking for, right? So we want to break this into simple shapes, and the best way to break it into simple shapes is just uh, rectangles or squares or triangles. So in this case, the easiest way we can do it is probably going to be like this, draw some lines here, and now we have three shapes. So let's label these shapes. This is one, this is two, this is three. So it's gonna be really easy to find the center of masses of these shapes and uh, the areas of these shapes. And then we can just use an equation to put it all back together at the end. So when we're doing this stuff, we wanna make a table first. So the table is gonna look like this segment. So the segment is gonna be which one we're doing. So we have one, two, and three, because we have the three segments there. So our next part is gonna be area. So our area, this is in inches, so it's going to be in inches squared. It's good to keep your units just to make sure you know what you're doing. So let's find the area of each one of these. So the area of one is going to be two inches tall, four inches wide, so two times four is eight inches squared. Right? Pretty easy. So this one is two plus four plus two inches tall, so it's eight inches tall, two inches wide. So two times eight is 16 inches. And then area three is going to be the same as area one, which is eight, which is just two times four. So there we go, we found it. Uh, so then let's do x tilde. So what is x tilde? Uh, this is in inches. This is center of mass. So we're looking for the center of mass of the x uh, part of each one of these. So of course the, the center of mass of a rectangle is in its center. So for here it's gonna be, for one it's gonna be in the center, which is two inches in, but then it also has to come from the origin. So we're gonna go over two inches and then another two inches to this. So x tilde is gonna be four inches for this first one. So then for two, its center of mass is gonna be here, which is just gonna be one inch over, right? Because the whole block is two inches. That's gonna be one inch. And then block three is gonna be the same as block one, so four. So now we can do this for y tilde, but let's just go ahead right now and figure it out. So we see that our graph is symmetrical or along here, right? So if you have something that's symmetrical, you know the center of mass is just gonna be across the symmetry. So the symmetry here is two inches up plus another two inches. So we know that the y center of mass is gonna be at four inches up. So let's just write that, right? We know right away y bar is equal to four inches. So we don't even have to plug it into our table here because we already figured it out pretty, pretty easily. So the last one we're gonna do is y tilde times area. So this is gonna be an inches cubed. Uh, so what we're doing is just multiplying these two together. So four times eight, 32. 1 times 16, 16, 4 times 8 is another 32. So now all we have left to do is to use our equation. So our equation to find x bar, which would be the same for y bar, is we're going to add up the x tilde areas and divide it by the areas. So we have the areas here. These are the areas that we're going to add up on the denominator. And then these are the x tilde areas that we're going to add up on the numerator. All right, so it's going to look like 32. So first one, plus 16, plus 32, and then divided by the sum of our areas, which is eight, plus 16, plus eight. Do the math on this, you get x bar is equal to 2.5 inches. All right, cool, so we have x bar is 2.5 inches, y bar is that, so we can write it, x bar, or y bar, however you wanna write it, it's good, 2.5, four inches. And there you go, so that's how you solve this problem. Not too tricky, really, but um, if you have any trouble with this, feel free to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of videos on these center of mass problems. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.